further come. Do all that, bro. The fuck, lowers his window down. Look at me. The fuck you, fucking flying and shit, bro.
right side we got. Twenty-two. Like ten dollars off. Just hit that Castle Hughes. I should probably should have stayed on the freeway.
Chi Chi. Taco Palenque Burrito. Usually, uh, I would eat a burrito from there at least about once a week. Like 14 bucks.
should be open on the inside. Pause it, folks. Trip to pick up. Trip, trip, trip. This way, because uh, that's like the long way now. About the burrito and uh, man, I was gonna go charge up the car when I ate, but this is almost going to shirts. It's all good. You know where the money tell me to go. I'll try to use these brakes as possible.
try to coast as much as possible. This light takes forever. No oh, shit, it's already turning, man. <laughs> like the smoothest railroad track right here like
Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's still, still night for me. Right. <laughs> Let me clean my face. I'll Good take a couple bright bites of my burrito. Sometimes. Maybe I got to scoot a little back. Oh, that the person earlier wanted me to have it more cold. I'm like, man, I was already freezing on my. Yesterday, I, I went to, I was picking somebody up. Well, I thought I was picking somebody up. And, uh, cause you know, when I pick somebody up, I had to accept the picking them up and send me to the drop-off place. I'm there waiting, and I'm like, I'm here. I've arrived. And he's like, where are you at? He said, I'm here. He said, what address? And I told him, he said, you're at the drop-off location. I'm like, so I'm sorry, sir. So I had to put it in my GPS to, because that that screen never came up. I'm like, what the fuck? So you going to work? Going to school? Going? So you ride Uber every day? No, well, the, I'm getting this to a bus. Cause I work in Austin. Oh no shit! Damn. So how often you gotta go over there, and or? Like, you stay over there for the weekend or what? No, just four times a week. Today's my Friday, actually. Oh, yeah? So you got to catch the Greyhound or what? No, they have their own personal buses. Well, I'm recording for our safety. Oh, no, that's fine. Inside and out. Because I got the Ultra, so check it out. Of course, both inside and out. For forward and backward. At least that, so you don't have to pay... To, to ride away over there, or, exactly. or do they take something out your check? No, it's free. That's good. Um, it's that part. Is this like tax deductible for you? The, the riding the Uber to to go to work? Uh, I actually gotta see. I haven't looked into it. Yeah, cause that's a lot of money, man. And, and Uber keeps like half the money for putting uh, ones and zeros together. <laughs> oh shit, that's supposed to turn that way, right? Putting ones and zeros together because you know everything on the programs on the computer are ones and zeros. You know, like the matrix when it comes down like that? Yeah. Spark it up or whatever. No. <laughs> yeah, cause somebody was asking me a couple of days. Can I hit the vape pants, man? Do your thing. I ain't got nothing to do with all that. I'm supposed to make y'all comfortable as I can. But you know, like if somebody was to throw up in the car, they they pay uh, two hundred fifty bucks. <laughs> That's crazy. Does it go to? Does it go to you though? Yeah. 
And somehow, I don't know if I, I'm the one who cleans it or I got to... That dude was telling me that. I didn't know. I didn't know none of that shit. But he said he has barf bags available and shit. And I, I guess he does it a lot at nighttime. Because I barely started dropping the people. I've, I've been uh, delivering Weekends food. Weekends after two. Weekends after two. That's when the people yeah. are tripping, right? Yeah, that's when the bar closes. They don't have anywhere else to go but home because nothing's open. Yeah. Well, you got to know the... the because I've delivered food for the past 10 months, so I know the places that are open 24-7. Like Taco Palenque, I just got a burrito. Oh, okay. I haven't got one in a while, so I said, man, I'm hungry. Let me go ahead and get one. And I was going to try to charge it up a little bit, but I said, when I was, right when they were giving me the bag, your, your call came through. So I said, oh, let me just go ahead and knock this out. This, this is almost paying for the burrito right here. I said, man, you got the wrong car. I said, man, this is the only car they have, man. Look. This is the car to get. I said, I see, because somebody was telling me about that yesterday. They were telling me yesterday, because two dudes had that car. It's a, it's a Kia. I think a CV7, they said. The guy was telling me the day before. He's like, yeah, man. Because uh, there's like a $5 surcharge they put on your, when you charge it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see it. I think that's the long one's being honest. Well, well, anyway, so uh, I said, Excuse me, sir, do you know why they charged me five bucks and I just ordered the thing for the whole month? He said, Oh, yeah, they always give you a five dollar surcharge and they give you the money back. And I started talking to him. And he told me he makes $160,000 a year. Really? But he has two cars, he does two things. He has that car, he told me he paid 22000 He's giving me the whole lowdown. I paid twenty two thousand for this car. I had twelve thousand miles. He said it charges up in eighteen minutes. This 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 car takes over an hour if it's if it's almost completely dead. Yeah. Then he said they could get all the rides, and he told me that he does Uber Black, which I don't I didn't know what the fuck that was. But he got a, a black. Uh, he told me he has a black Tahoe. Black, black leather interior, and, yeah. and uh, they get the, I guess like the upper class yeah. persons who don't want to ride in, in a little car like this or something else, you know, more executive type, I guess. And, uh, and, I, and I looked it up. It's, it's thir They charge thirteen percent, thirteen times as much. So like you're getting the seventy, seventy five dollar rides and shit like that. And he was also telling me, he put me on game. I said, man, I appreciate you telling me all this. He said, well, it doesn't matter because what I tell you doesn't affect me. <clears throat> but he said, yeah, my Fridays are all booked up mm -hmm. offline. <clears throat> so he couldn't, he couldn't Uber out the, out the mix, you know. Yeah. So he, he already given me all kind of ideas and shit, man. <laughs> but that car has to be at least uh, newer than five years old. Oh, really? Yeah. For, to do that one. So, I was like, man. I was like, man, you should look into... Because I'm doing the math, crunching the numbers in my head. Because I'm delivering. I'll, I'll burn through a whole tank of gas in a day. And it's $70. Oh, really? Yeah. I charge this one up. Just like right now, it's non-peak hour. So, it's they fluctuate on the rates and shit. Because yesterday when I finished, it was probably, it was in the afternoon time, I went and plugged it up. 50 cents a kilowatt. Wow. And I think, there's they have like three different rates. One's 36 cents, one's 31 cents, and one is uh, 50 cents. So, but it also depends because, you know, I was, I was doing the delivery and I have to cancel, I mean, decline almost everything. Except for I got to be picking and choosing it. So my acceptance rate was like 20%. I got to get it up to 85% to get to the diamond status. And yeah. I, I get the more preferred rides. And uh, and, 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 and they, they, the dude was also telling me, 
they, they charge you lower. There's, there's some. I'm, I'm, the more I'm gonna talk to them, the more I'm gonna figure it out on, on the on the electricity. So that's cool. Yeah, because it's it, those guys don't have that <laughs> have that crab in the bucket mentality. You know, like yeah. I'm not gonna tell you shit because it, it affects me. It's like, and I don't like being around these big ass trucks like this. But, That concrete truck was very heavy. And so, the majority of the people, well, everybody's been cool, man. You know, they're trying to get to where they need to go. And I'm the one who's getting them there, so. But delivery, it's, it's two opposite ends of the spectrum. Because doing that, I got to hurry up and get there. And, and I'm waiting at the place to get the food. And. It's a hurry up and wait game. This is, is much different. You gotta make sure it gets there on time as well. Yeah, well. Or not on time, but like. Best believe I always got it there ahead of time, but this right here, our safety is paramount. Me, I'm riding in the car by myself, just talking to the food. <laughs> but this is like, I, I gotta be. Yeah, it's I gotta, different. I gotta, I, I gotta pay more attention. And I'm not gonna. Safety. Yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not gonna get speeding tickets. I got six, I got pulled over six times, man, in 10 months. They gave me a ticket every time except for once. So I guess that's not that bad. At least like at least one time he cut me loose. Those Castle Hills. Oh yeah. They never they don't let they <laughs> oh, don't yeah. they don't let nobody lose, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because I've been putting my content on YouTube for delivery. I got a I got some different cars. Yeah. You care to check it out. That was me when I was delivering. I had made seventeen hundred that week. But I'm every day. Every day, every day, every day, no days off. Yeah, but I, that, when I got pulled over by Castle Hills, I, I edited it to, it's like an eight minute clip. I got one where somebody tried to crash into me. I put it on there. People were trying to blame me. I'm going to call SAPD on you. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do. I already know I'm not in the wrong, so. Some, some motherfucker tried to hit me and he overcorrected. I moved right on time. He overcorrected and started spinning out and started going backwards and crashing to a fence. So, you know, my friends were telling me to go to those people who own that fence. Show them the license plate number. I said, man, I ain't, it's going to take my time and it's, I ain't that type of person to just be telling on people. But what was that person thinking? If they would have crashed into me, we're both gonna crash. Yeah. Then when I get out the car, wet, I'm gonna be furious. So they they fuck up my my car and they try to hurt me. So, so you do it all until what time do you stop? Right. Well, it depends. Like uh, I'm gonna try to do the whole thing because I gotta pay 380 bucks for this car. So. So my transmission's going out of my car. And I just put put that in there uh, like four months ago. I paid twenty five hundred. But it had a warranty, so now I gotta get one with the warranty and I found one because when I went to Amco, my, my mechanic was telling me, go to Amco and see what they tell you. So I went over there, the guys told me, Yeah man, uh dudes were super cool. But he told me, said, man, we charge a lot, man. And, but I said, he told me he gave me the phone number and the name of the place that that has the five-year warranty but it's four thousand and something plus i gotta pay to get it in so i was like and then but then i was looking on the internet i found one for like 1500 it seems kind of weird to me though yeah it seems kind of weird to me because i paid for the used transmission 1500 with no warranty they're gonna sell me a, a rebuilt one and give me like a three-year warranty for 1500 i don't it's, you know, it seems kind of weird on the numbers, and but I, I have a mechanic over here, and uh, he sent me to his uh, transmission guy, and uh, he said, yeah, that's what he told me to, fifteen hundred, and uh, and a one-year warranty, no matter how many miles. He said, well, I need like a five-year warranty. He said, well, I can work with you on that. 
He's like, give me your phone number. I'll shoot you the numbers. He never called me, but I really don't have all the money ready, so I'm going to wait. Yeah. But then I asked him, I said, uh, how much to slap the transmission in? He told me seven fifty. My mechanic in H Town charged me a thousand. I wow. thousand was I seemed I thought it was fair. Yeah. And uh the guy at the Amco I said, How much uh, for the slapping the transmission? He starts pressing buttons on the computer and all this other shit. Twenty two fifty. Fifteen more hundred than the than the guy from the transmission place. I'm like Phew. He, cause, but he already told me it's, it's, it's gonna be high, man. But he also told me one year warranty because they sell repeat transmissions too. One year warranty, and uh, it doesn't matter how many how many miles. Yeah. Cause uh, shit, I put in at least five thousand miles on the car in a month. What you hitting brakes for, bro? Uh, the previous month, I put like almost 7,000 miles. So, I, I love my car. I don't, don't fix almost everything on it, so... I don't, I don't want to just let it go like that. Right. Just because I need the transmission and it costs like 4,000, I'm not going to just, oh, give up on it. And, uh, but my homeboy, he told me that he... He has a friend at a car. He's a barber, so he knows like thousands of people. And he gave me the card. Somehow I it's down there. Because it was in my pocket. He told me to holler at him. He, he could get me in a car probably for uh, no down payment. I don't care about the down payment, truthfully. It's just um, yeah. it's the final number in the end. You know? But I, but I, I want to get the EV that they're telling me. If there's a difference between brand new or not, brand new, brand new is it's like cost like forty two. The dude told me he bought his at Carbana for twenty two, and he had twelve thousand miles. I'm like, shit, I'm gonna put twelve thousand miles in two months. So for for two months, I'm getting it for half price. I think that's probably the better way to go. Yeah. Watch me leave with a Hellcat and shit. Be like. Man, I didn't even want this, man. That'll really be some YouTube footage, right? Dropping people off in the Hellcat. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. You're going to have to sign this waiver before we... Uh... <laughs> man, those motherfuckers who drive them in the Hellcats don't know how to drive that bitch, man. It has too much torque. It doesn't stay on the ground. Man. It slides everywhere. Because the wheels are spinning too damn fast. They crash into everybody, man. Yeah. They, I think over there by, by Dallas, they, they crash into like a family of five and they, they killed oh, four. They, they killed four of them. I think they was in a Hellcat or uh, one of those uh, Super Bs or whatever it is. This is almost like the Hellcat if it doesn't have the supercharger. <clears throat> but the, the new Corvette, the new new Corvette, the ZR1 is coming out. I like to go fast. And it, it has a thousand horsepower. Go 210. See, the Z06 is 150. And I know that's going to be at least 200. But it looks, it looks way different than all the other Corvettes. It's got some vents on the hood and all kind of shit, man. That's why I'll joke around. I said, yeah, man, I'm going to give me a little red Corvette. Uh, delivering in a, in a Corvette. People are going to trip out. Like, But by then, you already got a whole bunch of subscribers. You know, you're not yeah. you're not doing it for the money. You're doing it for the views.
It's good. I love it. Um, the only thing I don't like is the weather. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Man, it was 107 yesterday. Yeah, it went from like four seasons to like one, maybe two. But where, are you, where are you originally from? I'm from New York. New York City? Yeah. Oh, man. You're going backwards. Coming to San Antonio. <laughs> nah, it's too, it's too rowdy over there, man. It's too cold over there, too. Fuck that. I honestly love the winter, but it's a, it's a very fast lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it can be a little too draining sometimes. Yeah, well, I grew up in Houston, so it's fast over there, too. But not like New York. Yeah. I've been to Houston before. It does give me that New York City that vibe. Vibe, yeah. Yeah, but in New York City, everybody rides the subway and shit yeah, like exactly. that. Because it's it, either way it goes, it's hard to find a parking space downtown, right? Exactly. And it costs what? In general. It costs bank to park it downtown, right? Yeah. And over there, people love getting tickets for the smallest thing. New York seems like a nice place, but I'd rather go to California. It's more, it seems like it's more laid back. Of course, the weather's better. Yeah. Or they say, I've, I've been through California like twice. No, once. I'm on the way to Canada. I like this shit. How the fuck you have the rumble strip in the middle of the freeway? I don't understand it, man. It takes so long to fix every fucking highway around here, man. They're, they're, they're fucking, uh, somebody's getting kickbacks because ain't no way it's supposed to take years and years to make a fucking freeway, man. And you, you look, there's only five construction workers working here. Five miles down, there's five. There's, what the fuck? You need to have a 24-hour crew, like three different crews, you know. I'm sure that's how they'll do it over there in New York. I'm not gonna flip around over there because time is money over there. It's super populated, so they gotta keep things going one way or the other. Yeah. It's overpopulated, actually. So, what borough are you from? I was born in Brooklyn and raised in Queens. So, you like 50 Cent? Huh? Get off right here, right? I believe so. I said you like 50 Cent? Yeah, uh, um, mm -hmm, sure. Because he's from Queens. He's saying, man, he's making boo-boo money right now. Fucking, uh, making movies and shit. Got those shows, them power shows and the BMF. And... See, this is like, man, I, I hate this. I, the interchange always gets me, man. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Now, look, they were always telling me. A certain time to be there, right? Let me punch it, so to speak. What the fuck is going on over here? Man, it sucks to be over there. It's a one line going through there. Delivering over here before, and it it's it's always like this over here. It's fucked up. <clears throat> Man, and there, like half the people in San Antonio, they drive with the bright lights on. You already got the white lights. Why you need the bright? The bright's on for. 
because you're blinding the person that you're coming heads up with. That's the last person you want to blind. Right. So it's right here on the right hand side? Uh, or, or is it? It's wherever the location's mentioning it. Okay, but, but it looks like it's in the middle of the, look. Yeah, it's like in the middle of the parking lot. Oh, look, 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 where it, look where it's at, look right here, look. Look. Mm, that's crazy. I don't, I don't want to drop you off right here. Where those buses are going at. All right, all right. That's crazy, what would it do? You, you, see, you see though, right? Uh-huh. Why in the center? <laughs> that's you're insane. You're trying to get me to kill you, man, like that? Oh, man. I didn't, I'm glad you noticed that. I didn't hear all of that. <laughs> The last few days has been leaving me in the right place today. It's weird. so just go straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna put that. I drop you right here because if I go over there, it's not gonna let me slide okay. across. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the five because that's what I do for my peoples. <laughs> Thank Take a left behind that. Is, is that the bus right there in front of me? I guess. Oops. 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 Oh. Man. Tell me where. I'll... I you think they're going to get on the freeway or something over there. We Just tell me where. Okay, hold on. Let me. That's insane. Let me see. Well, let me get off just in case it starts sending me some more people. Do that. Let me cut it. Once I'm crossing, my one crossing. Yeah, you, you gotta keep going straight. Alright. So, no turn right? Go straight? No, no, you gotta keep going straight. Oh no, it's the other way. What the hell's going on? Yeah, it's the GPS. You know how it does. It starts dancing on you. Yeah. So I gotta go back that way? Starting route two live oak crossing. Head southeast on Pat Booker Road, then make a U-turn at East Loop 1604 North Access Road. I believe. I gotta go the opposite way? Yeah. Not that police hopefully he don't see. Nah, that's too many too many to cut that way, huh? Mm -hmm. What time does the bus leave? 4.15. Oh, shit. Let me hurry up and get you going the other way. So I'm going to do Yui? Right? Use the left lane to make a U-turn at East Loop 1604 North Access Road. That's the good thing about this car. It could turn real quick. Right lane? Somewhere here, it's in this on the right, mm -hmm. in that parking lot right, All right. Over there. So I, I should pull up right next to the lawns, <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll just keep going straight. Yeah, just tell me which way. Yeah, they wanted me to drop you off in the middle That's of the street, crazy. right? Like right in the middle of the yeah. street. seen a speed limit sign anywhere so at the light turn right onto Live Oak Crossing then make a U-turn <laughs> take a right then make a U-turn but it's yet here so. so you have to ride back too today tonight when you finish uh yeah make a U-turn and then just arrive at your destination oh where those buses are at Okay. To the left. Okay. And the trees are kind of in the way. Shit, that's crazy. I don't know why I would take you right there. <laughs> I 
You good though, you, you good? good. No way that bus is at. Yes sir, I've got you. So how many, the buses are two bus loads full of shit? It's going? like three. Damn. Have a good one, sir. Safe travels. Yeah, Make sure. Check, check, check. Yeah, I got it here. Hey, do you think Donald Trump really got shot away? Huh? You think Donald Trump really got shot away? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm just taking a poll. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Turn on your lights one more time. Oh, and then it's I just want to make sure. No problem. Thank you. Yes, sir. So he had a Tesla shirt on. start a new clip when I finish my burrito.